Ladies and gentlemen, Jay Collin here to Fight Night Challenge once again with my partner and my favorite commentator, Ryan McDonald of MMANVA.com. Jason Joyce, Kasim Ruffin, two great gyms, one established, one up and coming. Can't wait. Hard to believe this is the first fight of the night, Jay. These are two of the top up and coming gyms, super tough fighters. We saw uh, Jason Joyce back in the Fight Night cage in April, who was relentless with his takedown pressure. Joyce took a tough loss back in April in a, in a war against Mark Weisenborn. But what we saw from Joyce was just endurance, durability, and that, that Team Rock spirit. Yeah. No reverse gear. I mean, I, I don't know how many takedown attempts there were. And Ruffin proving every bit is difficult to take down. Joyce delivering it. Nice, and there it goes. Nice single leg. And Ruffin immediately pulls a nice tight guard. Joyce training about two years with Team Rock. But a refined ground game as he moves to side control. Almost has it down. Great pass, absolutely. Good wrist control, but boy, Ruffin is just a handful down there. He's one of those tough Team XCWT fighters that have just burst on the scene in 2015. New to the sport, sporting an undefeated record of 1-0, but he is not in a good position at this point. And as Joyce moves to the full mount, but even in a bad position, boy, rough and giving everything he got down there. Doing a good job of controlling that posture from Joyce, not allowing Joyce to rain down those elbows. Rough and, of course, Training every day. Oh, look at the reverse. Beautiful job by Ruffin, who, of course, has to work out every day with guys like DeMond Minor. Ryan Parker, absolutely. Tough fighters. Looks like Ruffin going for a choke. Doesn't quite have the position. And Joyce doing a pretty good job of wrist control. And a couple of shots loosen things up. But two good gyms, good coaches, good cornermen. Ruffin using wrist control to kind of stall Joyce a little bit. Joyce planning his next move. Keep that wrist, Coach Bell says. Nice job by Joyce again. Ruffin not making it easy on him, but good job. Looks like Joyce trying to set up a, a head and arm triangle. Ah, oh, and there's the bell. What a round. That was uh, the most effective, I think, attack out of Joyce right there at the end. That looked close. Lovely Nadia Ray once again covering the Fight Night Challenge ring card duty.
So if you're Joyce's corner, you're saying more of the same, Jason. If you're Ruffin's corner, you're saying knees, hands, keep them away. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Ruffin 1-0 with a, a first-round TKO, so he's never been in this position. No. Um, but that's not to say he can't thrive there. I mean, again, training with these guys at XCWT, I mean, it, it's catch, catch wrestling traps. They, they, they drill this. Flying knee, a little tentative out of Ruffin. Joyce capitalizes, but Ruffin right back on his feet. Coach Bell employing Ruffin to knee on belly as Joyce gives up the guillotine. Didn't really have position. Sucks Ruffin into a butterfly guard. Goes for the sweep. Ruffin is long for this yeah. weight class. Very long, very strong. Oh, and there's the back. That could be it. Ruffin needs to get two hands on one. Try to break that choke. Hard to tell from our angle of our booth, Ryan, if he's in. Looks like Ruffin has a hand in between. Not sure that it's locked in tight, but again, from this vantage point now, we can't make it out. But Ruffin was doing a good job of, of hand control, hand fighting. Here we saw one hand just trying to hit Joyce. So we know if it's hitting, it's not on wrist control. So he's going to try and flatten Ruffin out and still work this choke. Just relentless ground game from Joyce. Just unbelievable. The term on him like a cheap suit comes to mind. <laughs> Boy, is Ruffin game. Still working from down there. Still throwing punches. Exploding. Got to stay active. Just can't can't lay there and accept the position. He's got to he's got to try to move. Got to try to do something. Well, we know that about his gym. Those guys don't gas. Can't see from our angle, unfortunately, what Joyce is working. But Ruffin's punches seem to be losing a little bit of their vigor. Got both corners, really. Good advice, apt advice, timely advice. Nice reversal by Ruffin. Not really nice. He's so long that when he gets to his knees, it's hard for Joyce to hang on. Boy, what a round. Hard to say who might have had more taken out of him in that round. Both fighters working amazingly hard. Ruffin's not an easy guy to hold down. Not at all. Ruffin, Ruffin is showing the fatigue in the corner. Very tired. Joyce Pensive. For Ruffin, this is uncharted territory. And, and being down two rounds to none on the scorecards, as, as Ruffin probably is, He's he's got he's got to come out for the finish. He's got to come out for the knockout. He's got to stay active. He's got to move. He's got to avoid those takedowns of Joyce to give himself a shot at this victory. Yeah, because so far we, we he's not showing us that he's able to mount his own attack on the ground. We'll see what this third round brings. Two punch combo nicely avoided. A 
as referee Tom McGovern warns about a fence grab. That was a nice two-punch combo, but that was a nice job by Joyce to avoid it and get the takedown again. Great job by Joyce of understanding what has worked to this point in the fight and going right back to it. Not giving, not giving Ruffin any opportunity to mount that offensive attack. Todd McGovern, more advice. Nice right hand, sorry, left hand from Joyce. It is hard to keep your toes out of that fence when you're using it as leverage, but that's what you have to try. And that's not good news for Joyce. He does not want this fight stood up. He's happy where it is. Big elbow from Joyce. Nice short. This is somewhat of a better angle for us, Ryan, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Fighters are about eight inches. Thanks, fellas. And they're stood back up. Joyce a little bit quicker to his feet than Ruffin. But this is where Ruffin wants to work. Beautiful technique, a little slow, not a problem, but yeah, great but, looking. But Ruffin's got to set that up. Ruffin's got to start working the jab. He can't, he can't run in with a kick. That's how he's getting taken down every time. He's running in with flying knees, kicks, and, and Joyce is all over it. A little tape comes loose. Referee McGovern takes care of that. And Jason Joyce relentless with that ground assault. This is, a, this is a stronger Jason Joyce than we saw in April against Mark Weisenborn. That's, no. that's for certain. And again, against another taller, rangier opponent. Ruffin trying for a guillotine, but from that position, and, and Joyce is out. Don't think Ruffin had the, had the leverage from half guard, and, and Joyce is making him pay. Strong series of elbows from Joyce. Joyce moves into side control. And as we draw ever closer to the end of the third round, there's the hammer. A beautiful job, really, by Ruffin to stay alive on the ground against the relentless attack of Joyce. And there's no quit in those XCWT fighters. Oh, Ruffin still fighting to the end. Final bell. <laughs>